Hello and welcome to the AE Macintosh channel. I'm here today with Paul. We haven't been working together for a while because of social distancing and the climate of things. Um, but this is what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. Paul's been bringing his van and we've been working like separately, but together, if you know what I mean. So yeah, Paul's story. If you remember, we made a little video and it's on the playlist called Friends of AE Macintosh. Um, Paul came from an office type job and he bought this van and a window cleaning round all together. So Paul didn't set up this van, but this is the van he's been using for, how long have you been using it for now, Paul? Since December. So, and how are you enjoying window cleaning? Oh, I, I really love it. I think it's great. <laughs> Paul's living the dream. I'm living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it'd be really nice to show you Paul's van because I think this is a really common kind of setup, DIY kind of setup that window cleaners use for waterfed pole if they're looking to do a waterfed pole setup. So I thought it'd be really interesting to show you around it. Oh, well, Paul, Paul can show you around it. And, and I've got the camera on this like selfie stick thing so I can keep my distance <laughs> and still film him. <laughs> Well, if I get any of the wording wrong, the definitions, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. All. That's okay. Okay, so um, 350 litre tank. 350 litres, and you find that's good for the day? Um, I, yeah, by the end of the day, it's right down to the bottom. Um, yeah. So I, longer term, I would want to get a 400, but 350 just works for me at the moment. But I think with experience, I might <clears throat> my pace might go up a bit. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And um, it's strapped in rather than screwed down. So yes. that's the way it was when you got it, wasn't it? It was, and I haven't changed it. I've got, uh, there's a metal there and it's there's a metal bulkhead there. So it won't actually crush me if there's an issue. But again, the chap who had it before, he put all of that, that in there. Yeah. Um, then I've got, obviously I've got my pump up here, my very stream pump. Um, okay. Yeah. I've got my resin tank here. So water out through my, my pump here into uh, my resin here and then out onto my poles. And you've got a TDS meter there? Yeah, and that's right. I find that quite useful because obviously just to, one time I checked it and I was up to about eight and it was like, whoa, better sort this out quickly. So we'll Change just, your resin? Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what I did. So you've got RO system at home? Yes, reverse so you've got osmosis. A thousand pentair. litre tank? Yes, a thousand litres. So yeah. you make that? which is I've just realized isn't that efficient because my PSI at home is only about 30 so I'm just looking yeah. at the moment of increasing my PSI to get more efficiency with the membranes on the um yeah all right and then what poles you got up here okay so I've got a um a phantom 18 hybrid yeah yeah um obviously with a swivel which is really really good actually and then a carbon fiber well from window cleaning warehouse but nice you just got that as well haven't you yeah i find that really good that rigidity is very very useful like when you're cleaning fascias and things i've been using it for that it makes a big difference yeah very good thing. nice over here you've got some traditional kit as well traditional of course plastic bolt with all the cloths in etc and then here are my cleaning chemicals like titan uh, and some squeegees that's it and a fire extinguisher for safety oh there you go safety first <laughs> Excellent. So your reel here. Is, it, that's an, is that an eight mil? That's an eight mil reel. You've got an it? eight mil reel. Yeah. 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 And how, how are you finding it? I, I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, yours is six, I think. Yeah. Which I think might be better. I've noticed a couple of times just helping you with your hose, there's a difference in weight at the six mil makes a bit of a difference. Okay. It's kind of easier to handle and move around and drag, you know, when you're dragging it around someone's house and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm probably an upgrade worth thinking about. These little things just add up and make life easier sometimes, don't yeah. they? But well, another upgrade I'm thinking about is um, at the moment with the very stream, um, I have a, a, sta a constant flow when I'm wind cleaning the windows, but I'd like to be able to change that flow. Uh -huh. So I maybe I'll put it on flow number two when I'm just scrubbing them down, and flow number three to rinse them. So this is quite a basic. Um, this is quite a basic flow controller you've got here. Yes. And it and it only adjusts one to six, numbers one to six? Correct. So yeah, I think a controller upgrade would definitely be a good idea. So my controller goes through zero to ninety nine. So you've got a lot more control, haven't you, there yeah. over your flow rate. Yeah. 
and then you were thinking about even getting one with a remote control yeah, i was thinking of that because a friend of mine's got it and um, they were telling me that they were saving water and and doing a better job because they increased it when they were doing the rinse down yeah and i thought oh maybe because i've just had my first water bill and it's like <gasps> <laughs> so that's a good that's an interesting idea that i want to explore as well yeah. having that control over being able to adjust the flow in certain situations when you're maybe around the back of a house or something like that yes yeah yeah awesome so then one bit we're missing paul is where the how the pump is powered okay so the wires go through to the front of the van yeah and it's underneath the passenger passenger seat in this peugeot it's uh so if i lift that up and that hey yeah. that's neat isn't it yeah so that's a big battery that one um, and on here you'll see the relay switch yep so the car battery uh, keeps this charged yeah however i must admit this isn't working at the moment so is it not how are you charging it so i've got this um uh, 12 volt battery pulse charger really cheap off amazon and every two weeks i'll just put it on a charge and it sorts it out I've, I've actually got a new one i ordered off amazon so i just need to fit it but I've got to figure out how to do it. So this is a split charge relay. Yes. And that goes under the carpet through to the battery under the bonnet. Correct. So that the alternator of the van will charge the battery for the van and the battery, this runs just your pump. Spot on. Nice, but you didn't fit any of this. No, this all came with the van. But I think it's relatively easy to fit. We, we used yeah. to do that a lot as lads. Yeah, when we all first got our first cars. Right. And then we used to like fit speakers in the back, didn't we? Okay, so we'd, yeah, yeah, so yeah. we'd have to thread all the wiring through under the carpet, through yeah. into the under the bonnet, yeah. and fit it all exactly the, in a similar way. Right. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't know what you're doing, it might be worth getting a car mechanic or electrician to help you. Auto electrician or something. Yeah, I, yeah. I would wreck it. I'm, I am. So thanks Paul for showing us your system. No problem. I think the nice thing about putting together your own system, I mean Paul didn't put it together himself, mm. but it's dead simple really. In principle, you've got those elements. As long as you've got the water storage, either a tank or some guys even use barrels, you know, if they're starting out just at first, they might even just use barrels. So you've got the tank here, you've got the pump, um, you've got a pump strainer, actually, which is really good. Yeah. Which on my little DIY system I first made, I, I missed that out, but it's a really good idea to have a pump strainer on there as well. And then the, the resin, the DI resin, and then your hose reel. So those elements are basically what goes into making making a water-fed pole system. Then, of course, your brushes and poles. If you want to put together your own water-fed pole system on a bit of a budget, you know, that's that's a great way of going about it. And uh, if I'd started window cleaning in uh, a different era, <laughs> I probably would have done a DIY system quite similar to this. If, yeah, I like, to, I like to be hands on. I like to put things together myself if I can. And I think what I think is nice about that, if you've put together your own system in a DIY kind of situation, any issues you have with it, you're going to be better prepared to know how to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, you're um, familiar, aren't you? because yeah, because you're the person that's put it together. You know how it all works, and and you can change the various components, yeah, as and when as and when you need to. So, really good way to think about things. So, thanks for letting us look around your van, Paul. No problem. Good and um, thanks for watching. There's loads more videos on my channel about window cleaning, exterior cleaning. I'm sure, you know this by now. There's the playlist, Friends of AE Macintosh playlist, where I try and feature a few little things, tips from other window cleaners as well. So, have a look at that. And uh, maybe me and Paul will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>